Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Leroy here at Shaman Studio in Bordeaux, France. Um, you know, represent Plugin Masters, where you can get all your plugin needs. You know, we even got templates, things like that. A lot of tutorials where you can check out. And don't forget to subscribe to our page. Oh, and you check us out on Instagram, free plugin giveaway weekly. I see you there. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to demonstrate Sound Toys, one of my favorite companies. They got this new thing called a Super Plate. We're going to get with that right now. Here we go, y'all. Okay, so um, here is the Super Plate right here. And the reason why they call it Super Plate because it's got five great plates to choose from. So the first one is the EMT-140. They call it the Classic. This one was created in 1950, starting point, right? The next one is the EMT-240. This is a smaller plate, but darker for the sound. This is the AudioCon, and this one right here was created in 1970. More punchy, more sparkle. The next one is the E-Plate 3. This one is created in 1980. It's brighter reverb. And then we go to the Stocktronic, and this one adds a lot of tone and brightness to your mix. Okay, the great thing about Superplate is it also give you where you can change the tone, like with different tubes. You got a tube here, you know, for that classic tube sound, and then you also got a solid state preamp, and then if you choose this one, it is totally clean. Okay, so I'm going to move this back to the classic EMT-140 plate, and we're going to go over here to the decay time, which is the most important um, control on the Superplate. So now you can see there's different numbers here we're going to start off at one i mean point five okay and just listen to that hey, are you sure to do when she's very short let's go to one you, you. a little more space let's go to two now listen to it it's getting like it was wider in the end of her words hey, big difference now let's go to 16. Just look around. And the last one after 32 is this one. It's just infinity. Okay? So meaning that reverb will never stop. Now, the most important thing for me is when you're do, dealing with your DK time, is listen to the end of a word and listen to the boxy sound of it and the bass. And that's usually where you want to stop if you're starting to get too much bass and boxy sound in it. But we also got some other features that can take care of that too. Okay, so the next thing is the pre-delay, and this is what allows the voice to come through without being affected by the reverb. It gets a little time before the reverb actually functions. So it can start from zero to 250 milliseconds, okay? And the next one is the modulation. This one is um, a slight thing that you really need to focus on. It actually um, controls the depth of the reverb signal, okay? The next one is the filter. You can see right here the low pass, and you got a high pass filter over in the other side. And you can move those around and get rid of some of the bass and some of the high frequencies. Here you have the input. It's very simple. Um, this is when you're sending your, um, more input from the source, like her voice. You can bring more input in. And output is once it's inside the super plate, you can control the output level. Okay, and finally right here you see the mix. When it's on wet, it's 100% of the reverb plate. And when it's dry, that means her voice is clear. So it's parallel mixing. So you have the dry voice and you have the wet voice. You right here, if you click on this button, tweak, and it opens up an EQ output for EQs, right? And you can see right here, if I move this filter, that moves. And if you can see if I put that filter for the high filter, and you can see that moves right there, or you can actually do it yourself. As you can see, it's moving. Now, also, it's a two-band EQ. And the first band right here, band one, will remove bass. You see at 100 hertz, you can move it all the way over there, and you get your hertz there. And this right here is your high frequency. Okay? And you can boost them or cut them. Okay? So that's your EQ for outputs. Okay, so our next function is the modulation. And it's actually... Um, you can see 8 hertz and 0.2 here. 
this actually is determining the tail of the um, reverb. So that's very gentle. So try that out a couple of times and see how you like that. Here is the auto decay section with a threshold, a target, and the recovery. So let's first talk about the threshold. The threshold is like a gate. Um, what it does is when the vocal is coming in, you have this long reverb time. One problem is you have a buildup of reverb. So now the threshold can shorten the reverb time, you know, have more control over it. The next function is the target. The target knob defines how much of the reduction in reverb time you get when the signal passes the threshold level and the maximum target point for the reduction to decay time. Final um, function is the recovery. Just like most compressors and gates, you have milliseconds. Now, the, this is where you can actually set the release time, so how fast the machine reacts. Also, the Superplate comes with a great function that I really like. This is the um, stereo part, where you can actually widen the stereo image right here with the width. And the next one also, too, you can actually pan it. There's a left, and you can put a little more on the right. So these are great functions. All right, so those are some of the functions. But now just have a little bit of fun with um, Sound Toys, the Super Plate thing. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the preset that you listen to the vocals. This is pretty nice. Just check it out. So right here, I got the presets. I'm just going to go to vocals, and I'm going to go to this first one. Ballot vocal. So to listen to that, you can see it changed plate to E, plate three. You can see what the decay time is. There's a few EQs for you right there. So listen. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around you, around you. I remember when everyone was smiling. Like if it now, let's try something else. And just go back to the vocals and just go to that one, bright vocal plate. This is that. Look what happened. Stocktronic just changed. And you can see the EQ has changed over here too. There's a boost right here. Take this one out. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around you, around you. I remember when everyone was smiling. Like if it so that's pretty nice. It's not really aggressive, but listen to the tail end of her vocals. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look at it. See, that's where that reverb is functioning at. So let's go back here and let's go to the clear vocal plate. Same thing. Stocktronic, but the decay time actually moved. The pre-delay moved, and the EQ is quite different. Take a look at that. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around you, around you. I remember when everyone was smiling. Like if it okay, that's nice too. But look, very short reverb times. This was even shorter. It actually went to the um, EMT 240 this time. DK time is a little bit over one. Pretty late, pretty lot. Got rid of a lot of bass in, so just listen to that. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around. Now, if you want to modify you, that, just. Around you, I remember when everyone was smiling. Okay, so just do your thing, add things to it. You can start with these presets. The next one is tight, warm vocals. Same plate, the 240. And look at the DK. It's very short. EQ. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around you, around you. I remember. All right, let's try the next one. What we got here? See how that go. Oh. We're going to the original one, the 140, and look at the pretty delay time and the shape of the EQ. Cut all a lot of highs right there. Just take a look at that. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around you, around you. I remember when everyone was smiling. Like if it was Very tight reverb. So let's go right here. Now we got a lot more pre-delay. This is the AudioCon. 
pretty normal looking EQ pattern in here. So let's take a listen. Hey, are you sure what you're doing? Just look around you, around you. I remember when everyone was smiling. Okay, so now I have to say something that um, is really important to me. The Super Plate comes with lots of great things like all of these famous plates. So that means you basically need one plug-in that can take care of all the jobs for you. And you got your EQ. You even got um, how you can control the tail end of your um, reverbs by the threshold and the recovery time here and the target. So this is extremely a great plug-in. And I recommend that you take a listen to this. This can really change your mixes and just learn it. And it's really good on other things like um, guitars, other instruments. You can see strings. Acoustic guitars, oh, a lot of stuff. You know, complaints are famous for those things. So um, I see you guys at Plug In Masters. And don't forget about our uh, weekly giveaway on um, Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to our page, Facebook, YouTube. We're everywhere. TikTok. So we see you guys in um, the next video. Later, y'all. Look around you, around you. I remember when everyone was smiling, like if it was the last time I saw.